Have you ever wanted your students to see a piece of information as soon as they log into Brightspace? Well, you're in luck because that's what we're talking about today, the Welcome Widget. The Welcome Widget is a system widget that takes HTML documents built underneath a content unit and puts them into an announcement that shows up for students as soon as they log into your course. These announcements will continue to show up until they've been dismissed by the student. You can have multiple pages that they have to flip through or just a single announcement. These pages are also accessible to your students throughout the whole year. So you can use them for something permanent like a syllabus or you can use them for something temporary like an announcement. Add them, remove them, make them what you need them to be to make your course more accessible. Let's take a look at how we're going to use the Welcome Widget. I'm going to navigate to a course that I've set up the Welcome Widget in. And here you see my first piece of information has popped up. Now, this is a self-paced course that I'm demonstrating with. So there's a video introducing the course and some information below it. There are five pieces of information and I can click Next to view all these pieces of information. If I dismiss widget, it goes away. So let's take a look at how you actually build the Welcome Widget. Now, the Welcome Widget is a system-wide widget, so it can be added to your homepage just like any other widget can be, uh, which is by scrolling down to the bottom of your homepage, clicking um, Edit This Homepage. You're going to want to make sure that you are working with a copy. If you haven't done any edits to your homepage, it'll prompt you to make a copy. You're going to want to help go ahead and do that. If you scroll a little bit down, you will come to your widget area. If you go to Add Widgets, and you can type in welcome. And we'll have course essentials welcome. You're going to add that. I have mine right up here above my course information, uh, which is above my teacher profile. Yours might look a little different. And I'm going to click save and close. That has put the welcome widget on the home page, so it will never go away. I can still get to it by clicking this blue button that says launch course essentials. And there it is. So, how do you get information to actually pop up in your Welcome Widget? Let's take a look at that next. Go to your content section in your Brightspace course. And what you're going to want to do is actually create a new unit called Welcome. As long as Welcome is in the title of the new unit, then the Welcome Widget will appear, or the information within that content will appear. So when I click New Unit, as long as I'm naming that new unit, Welcome, welcome students, uh, welcome to math. It's just got to have welcome in the title, and that will trigger the welcome widget to then play any HTML documents that are placed underneath it. So I already have my unit labeled welcome. Now, underneath my welcome widget is where I can put specifically HTML documents. So if I click on my unit, and I go to create new, I'm going to add an HTML document. HTML documents can be customized in a few different ways. You can use templates uh, for slightly more interactive elements like tabs or drop down menus. You can also just have a blank page. If you want to insert a video and just record it directly from your computer, you can use the insert stuff tool and add video notes. This is going to add a really personalized touch, great for the beginning of the year, introducing yourself or letting students know um, about a big project coming up the first time that they log into your course. So you can add video note. Video notes are great because they'll automatically caption. You, can, you also have the full text editor. So you can add images, you can different, color, different types of font or colors of font, um, and you can set the availability dates. So, if it's not available yet, its start date is later, then students won't see that piece of information until they log in after the start date. If you have an end date, then that information will go away after that end date. So all of my pieces of information that I have placed under my welcome widget, uh, these first three are always going to be there. These next two, which are reminders about completing a course uh, completion survey. These have conditional releases set to an element within the course. So this actually won't be seen until you have completed session five. What I can do is because I want students to see these first three right when they log in right off the bat, 
they will because they're visible for students all the time. There are no start dates or end dates attached to them, so they're always available. But I want students to see the reminder uh, after a certain point, and I want them to see the course completion survey. So what this is going to allow it to do is, as a student, it's going to skip over these first two and go straight to course introduction because my students haven't met the release conditions for these. Now I set them in this order because they would see the reminder first and then this the course completion survey appears after they finish their last session. So next time they log in, it's the first thing they see. So kind of keep that in mind as you're building this. The order does matter. If you have information that you want students to see immediately, drag that document to the top. That way, it's the first thing they see because this is ordered, all right? Now, if I had start or end dates attached to my course completion survey or my reminder of the course completion survey when I made this, that would also work. Uh, and those things would only show up after that certain date. But again, since they're the most relevant information, I want them at the top. So I hope that's a nice little sneak peek into the Welcome Widget. I think it's a really neat tool that can add a lot of customization to your course and really helpful when you just need to get students or your teachers information when they come into your course, well, the very first time or any time after that. All right, let's review what we've learned about the Welcome Widget. The Welcome Widget must be added to your course homepage. You'll do that by editing your course homepage and adding the widget. If you need to search for it, use the keyword welcome. Students can always access the information within your welcome widget by using the blue button on the course homepage. When creating the content unit for the welcome widget, you must include the word welcome in the title of that unit. You can only use HTML documents for the welcome widget. All information will appear in the order in which it is listed under the welcome unit. You can use start and end dates in order to control the release of information throughout the year. I hope you enjoyed learning about the Welcome Widget.